Hey everybody, and welcome to another edition of Ruthie's Desk Reviews, where I review desk or crap around my desk, or stuff that's on my desk, whatever. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about problematic YouTubers and their palettes, their eyeshadow palettes. So if you're not interested in eyeshadow and things like that, you can click on to the next one. Maybe tomorrow I think I might talk about tinfoil. Who knows what I'm going to talk about, but you know, let's just get started. So there's been a lot it, lately in the last few, I gotta adjust my camera. Um, there's been, an, in the last few days, there's been a lot of lawsuits, it seems, popping up in the beauty community. Uh, you've got Jeffree Star suing someone or being sued, I can't remember, and then Tati Westbrook was being sued by her former business partner, and then um, Tati Westbrook ended up suing a YouTube channel that had posted a bunch of stuff about her that wasn't it was kind of like really weird what this person was doing so and then you've got all this other stuff going on so I thought we we go over those and I give you my reviews sometime later after I bought these palettes because of course I bought the palettes why wouldn't I I have a pile here so let's get started so the first one I'm going to talk about is the first palette that I got I asked for a palette for Christmas and my wonderful family obliged. I wasn't particularly watching any YouTuber at the time. This was a couple years ago, and I thought, you know, I, I just get me a palette. So they gave me the original, which has a small sticker on it. I don't know why there's stickers on my palette. So I got the original Jaclyn Hill palette. Now this is a different formula, as we found out, than the palettes being sold now. So if you have the original, this one applies. The formula that they, they sell now I think is a little bit different. So Morphe, a problematic, problematic blah, 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 company itself, uh, produced this palette with Jacqueline Smith. And, or Jacqueline Smith. How old am I, really? Jacqueline Hill. Um, so if you open it up, these are the colors. And you can see that I use this quite a bit. I like the, the lights to put in my corner. Some of these I've never touched. Like this one is a, like a rusty... I don't know what I'm going to ever, I mean, it kind of looks like blood to me, so I haven't used it. Uh, you've got like the really bright ones and the purple ones and the brown ones. So I'm going to give you my honest review of this palette since I have been using it now for over a year. Now, I will tell you too that many people say, because on the back you've got the little thing that says it's only good once you open it for 12 months. I ain't that girl. I'm going to continue to use my stuff, so sorry. They're just powders they'll go on my eye and it's okay. Um, my review of this palette is that I love it. It's probably one of my absolute favorite palettes. Jacqueline has been very pro problematic. Uh, she had a lipstick launch that had hair or some hairs and fibers in the lipsticks. They had clumps and like beads and it was just gross and she's like said stuff and done stuff and been weird with it. I mean she's just had a bunch of scandals and stuff that go well for her but I have to tell you this Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette, the original, love it. So continue to use it. And just to be honest, I'm using them all just because I paid for them or got them as gifts. Okay, the second one that was problematic. I'm sure we all have seen this one. This is the James Charles palette. Now he like joked around calling it the rainbow palette because it's every color of the rainbow, right? This looks like, looks like paint pots, like you would, in grade school when you, you were so excited because you got the big pan of colors from your parents. Okay, this is another Morphe product. Morphe's been accused of stealing from other, you know, companies and I yeah, probably, I don't know, but um, who knows? I mean, really, that's just, you know, allegedly that's what happened. So at any rate, um, these are the colors for this palette. Now I will tell you, I use quite a few. And again, I go back to the neutrals for my eye quite a bit. I've used the yellow, uh, the purples. There's a couple on here I haven't really touched much. This like really bright blue is so pretty. I'll never be a beauty guru. But anyway, I kind of like it. I like how um, there's, there's a little bit of fallout, but it's not too much. You can see that I've used a lot of this palette. So this one I think is, this is the artistry palette. That's what it's called. 
but this is a huge palette and I will tell you for the value it was a pretty good value and I do reach for this quite a bit love this palette Okay, let's go on to one of my newer palettes, which is the Maddie Ziegler palette. Now, she just had a small type of problem where she said something she shouldn't have. It made her a little bit problematic for about five minutes, but it was fine. And this is another Morphe collaboration. They're trying to reach out to the little girls, but I just like the colors and had a gift card. So, I use it. Now, this one includes a mirror, which is nice. Um, and it has a few, it's like a lot less shades. I've, I've fiddled with this a little bit. Uh, I'll be honest, it's not my favorite palette. The ones with the sequins in them that are trying to be like a shimmery thing. I will say that I, the formula is not my favorite. It's not the easiest to put on your eye. It doesn't seem to, I just, it's just not my jam compared to the other stuff. But it's made by Morphe, so I don't understand why the formula is not the same. I mean, basically, they have a formula, and then you just change it with your colors. I don't, you know, that's what I would assume. Do I really think that Jaclyn Hill and James Charles were in there, like, creating actual formulas? No, that's what chemists do. And then they went in and evaluated. Um, but, like, there's a few on here I haven't touched yet. I've only had this a few months. The Go Home I haven't played with yet. The ASAP I haven't played with yet. Uh, I'm liking how the palettes are starting to put in more dark like black colors so that I don't have to use an eyeliner because if you've ever seen my videos or know me in person, eyeliner is not my thing. Uh, if you've seen any videos of me trying to put on eyeliner, definitely not my thing. So this one, would I buy it again? Probably not. But again, I bought it, so I'm going to use it until it hits pan. I'm using all of these until they hit pan. A hit pan means that you're gone through the whole thing. Okay, let's go through another controversial one I've gotten recently. Too Faced. My owners of Too Faced apparently are not nice people. That's what I hear. I don't know. That's what you see on the blogs. It's all alleged. Nobody knows. Here's what the palette looks like. This is the natural matte palette. And whew, I love Too Faced because it always smells like chocolate. Or everything I've ever smelled smells like chocolate. But the colors are all neutrally. I just got this recently, so I haven't used it as much. Um... I will say, like, the payoff on some of these is, is okay. Uh, I don't particularly care for the names on some of these. If That's a really, that's a poopy brown, but blended out, it looks okay. Um, some of these names, like Sexpert and things like that, it's like, ugh, you know, their mascara, better than Sex Mascara, is an amazing mascara, but when you have a 13-year-old or a 12-year-old or a 14-year-old, do you really want them going to the desk at Ulta and asking them if they can get better than sex? I mean, come on. Whatever. I'm sure they will. All right. This is the big one that I, like, had to hunt for and beg for and steal and cheat for. Not literally, of course, but, you know, Shane Dawson conspiracy palette. He did this with Jeffree Star and Morphe. Again, Morphe. Uh, if you know anything about Jeffree Star, you know he's been very problematic. He's like said some racist stuff. He's like threatened people supposedly. This is all alleged from whatever you see, but whatever. Um, it's, you know, that that's but then Shane Dawson like was going off to be like such a good guy and then it comes out that he was making these really horrific pedophilia like inspired or they look like they were pedophilia videos and then you didn't you know, it's just problematic all of them and he was like cursing out people and it just all this is problematic right but I can tell you that I did get this palette and I have used it now it's almost a year old it's a year since it came out and I got it right around Christmas time there are a few of these colors that I really don't use I use a lot of my pills I use a lot of Tanacon um I use a lot of Trisha that's Trisha Paytas and Cheese Dust things like that I use these there's a few I don't use that much like this really deep green that they have here it's like it's really green I don't know where to put that so I haven't I'm not an expert I just fiddle around so this um I will continue to wear it obviously because paid for it 
Um, but I mean, would I buy it again? I probably, maybe, I don't know. Uh, he also came out with the mini controversy palette. Um, I will say they smell weird. It smells like, I don't know what that smell is, but they kind of have a, they just smell weird, but you don't smell it when you put it on, but they smell weird. So rumor has it that you can see these now in TJ Maxx, that they're available in TJ Maxx. So if you can get it for cheaper price, then you can go for it. But on um, this one, I really use this quite a bit in terms of like my boyfriend's purse and cry on my couch and things like that. I really like these. So this is a cool little palette. And I like the packaging. I like the packaging ideas on both packages. I did watch the entire docu-series where he talked about this. And it was a good introduction in how they make makeup and stuff like that. However, these are these are fine. Would I buy them again? If they were cheaper, probably. But again, I'm using them because they're going to go down to pan. And then I saved the best for last. And I will say that this is my absolute favorite palette of all the palettes I got and I think it's probably still available and right now this person is in a bit of a controversy herself she has been sued by her former business partner she has filed suit against a YouTube channel who who uh, ignored her cease and desist because the YouTube channel seemed to like go after her personally like with a verver I've never seen like before just like horrible and that's Tati Beauty so if you open it up, this is the volume one. And it's like, love this palette. I will tell you why. These glitters at the top are amazing. And they stay on your eye. You just don't want to put it like really close to get into your eye. Like put it at the more towards the top. Love them. The sequins are gorgeous. The mattes are gorgeous. This black matte has been the best thing to use for eyeliner that I've probably ever seen um, in terms of a powder. I love it. I have tried every single one of these, I believe. I'm looking to see if there's one that I have not tried. Nope. Everything's got an indent. Um, I love these. The top, I love the, And everything is a color story. So if you want to do an eye look, it's like boom, 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 boom. I love this stuff. So, I mean, and the payoff is is amazing. Look at me talk like I'm a YouTuber. Look at that. I love this palette. So, am I sad that she's getting into trouble? Yes. Am I disappointed? Yes. Because I wanted more of this stuff. I want more of this. So, overall, um, I would say I'm not looking to buy any more palettes because my god I've got enough um I'm just at the age where I'm starting to play around and see what I can do with colors and stuff on my eye in the morning um and now I'm and I'm 50 so it's like I'm just now starting to play with this stuff because back then back in the old days back in the 80s you didn't do that you didn't play around with stuff like that really because there really wasn't that much to play around with so if I was going to rate whether I was going to buy things again, I would say yes, if it's the old formula. Yes. Probably not. No. If they were much cheaper. Absolutely. This is my favorite. I wear it all the time and I love it. So that's it for today's talk about stuff that's on my desk. Tune in tomorrow where I may talk about Kleenex. You never know what you're going to get. But mm, we'll talk to you later.